Would you make sense? What game playing? Oh, come on, Augusta. You're always playing games. Always. It would help if you'd stop talking in riddles. I'm sick of your on and off game with Joe Perkins. One day you insist on being kind to that killer, and the next day you're turning him in. I think we've said all that needs to be said about this. <laughs> Not quite. I've come to the conclusion that Kelly should know about your little affair with Joe. Oh, be serious. Lady, you don't know how serious I am. Hi, Peter Flint here. Or actually, not here. Let me know you called by leaving your name and number after the tone. Hi there, Peter Flint. This is a friend of yours. I'm in bed right now, and I was just thinking about you. I wanted you to know that. See ya. I'll give you a call. Oh, no, you don't. You're not going anywhere with that stuff. It's my best shot at proving my innocence. Trust me. I'll never be able to get back in that room again. I need to think about these things. Hold it. You could be setting me up. You could go to the police and have me arrested for breaking and entering. What guarantees do I have I'll ever see that stuff again? What good will it do you? How do I know you won't give it to the real killer? Maybe you're on his side, not mine. Maybe it's your way of destroying the evidence against him. You really suspect the worst. I have good reason to. Or maybe you're the real killer. Ought to be stupid. Guessed right, didn't I? You killed Channing Jr. Come in. Uh, sure. Um, one second. Okay, I'm decent. I just wanted to wish you good luck tomorrow on your screen test. It'll turn out all right. I hope so. I'm really scared. I knew you would be. You know what brings on surefire absolute good luck? What? making sense. I am not the killer. I'm on your side. Joe, you gotta trust me. I can't tell you anymore.
if you were to deny your affair with Joe Perkins, who's going to believe you? You can't go around spreading malicious rumors and getting away with it. What are you trying to prove? Oh, it's not a malicious rumor. You've got a reputation, Augusta. One you've earned all by yourself. Everyone knows you're Lionel's little plaything whenever he's in town, and anyone else is when he's not. Get out! It's some marriage you two have. Lionel has his women, none too discreetly, and then you retaliate measure for measure. How dare you? Why do you stay married while he goes and gallivants all over the world with other women? Obviously, you're not enough for him. You have a filthy tongue! Of course, if Kelly finds out about your little affair with Joe Perkins, that'll put an end to any residual feeling she has for him. You wouldn't dare tell Kelly that ridiculous lie. <laughs> Are you so insecure about her feelings about you that you have to lie? It's not a lie. You do. And I'll be forced to tell her all the details of our intimate past. She'd never believe you. Oh, no? Perhaps if I were to mention that silly little misplaced mole... That would put an end to your storybook romance. Well, you're not saying anything now. Where's all the big talk? Fortunately, that mole is in a very compromising place. You do that. And I promise, I will destroy you. Peter, get out. Take your nasty mouth and your ugly little mole with you. Very sleepy yet. I was worried about you today. You seemed a little at uh, loose ends. No, I'm fine. Good. So, have you and Peter set the date yet? No, not yet, but we will soon. And uh, where do you want to go on your honeymoon? Well, we don't know yet. My gift to you is two tickets and everything that goes with them to wherever you want to go. Daddy, you shouldn't do that. You've always spoiled me. And now you're going to spoil both of us? That's a daddy's privilege. Your mother and I went to Bruges, Belgium. Yeah, I remember you mentioning that. Yes, yeah, a charming little place. Not unlike Venice. More quaint. Not as many tourists. Sophia and I, we, uh, <laughs> we had a wonderful time. So, I toss it out to you for your consideration. You two were so happy together. <sighs> Mary, I haven't had that kind of happiness since. You and Ted and Eden all remind me of her sometimes. And Eden, well, she's almost a spitting image of Sophia. You all have her coloring. You know, I'm not so sure I like the uh, fact that you've all grown up so fast. Well, Ted isn't quite grown up, except in size. Boy, he's a big one. I know it. You know, Daddy, it probably won't be very long until you have a grandchild. Or maybe even two grandchildren. What a joy that would be. You think you'd spoil him, too? I'll do my best. You know, Daddy, it's been wonderful being your little girl. Sometimes I wish I could just stay that way. I like being spoiled, being taken care of. You're like mother and father all rolled up into one. Daddy, you're the best parent anybody could ever, ever have. Uh, never heard of him. He's no. at the 
building no, somewhere. Nobody here like that. Sorry. Come on, open up. Open up! What's all that rockets? I'm looking for Dominic. What's your problem? Look, I'm looking for Dominic. He's in the building somewhere. Listen, if you stop making all this noise, I'm gonna call the police on you! Damn. Good morning to you. Hey, you're not allowed up yet, are you? Don't ask. I've never enjoyed following rules. You enjoy being difficult. Well, it gets me noticed. Hey, what's with the tennis shorts? You planning on going to play tennis? If I can find a racket. There is no chance. I am going to lock up every tennis racket in this house. You are a genuine, authentic, tough customer. Wait till you know I'm that? back in circulation. <laughs> you don't know me. You haven't seen me for five years, Santana. Mm. What brings you to my sick bed anyway? Don't well, say it. I'd rather provide my own answer. Well, be my guest. Nah, you're still too young to hear my more lecherous thoughts. <laughs> well, well, well. You know, I haven't seen you in five years either, and I've changed too. Yeah? Yeah. So tell me. Well, first of all, I found your place. Terrific. That was fast. Mm -hmm. And it's near the water. Good. How near? As a matter of fact, it's on the water. It's a houseboat. A houseboat? Mm hmm It's docked at the harbor. That's a fantastic idea. Yeah. Let's go see it. Hey, wait, wait, wait. You're not supposed to be I'm up fine. Yet. I'm fine. I'm fine, see? Okay. Oh, uh, what about these guys over here? Don't you think we ought to put them on? Uh, well, I had to take them off. They were killing me. <laughs> okay, why don't we come right over here and sit down? I feel like a truckload of tomatoes right now. Oh. My father used to pick tomatoes. <laughs> hey, we don't have to go today. We can go tomorrow. Are you kidding? Somebody could buy it out from under me. Okay. Don't tickle my <laughs> foot, Santana. <laughs> you used to do that to me all the time. Okay. Yeah, well, a lot's changed since then. Yeah, it is different. Very. You know, I used to look at you as my uncle. <laughs> How do you look at me now? Now? Is it just a man? No, not just any man. Oh no, what <laughs> then? You are a genuine, authentic, tough customer. <laughs> <laughs> Conversation? The worst! Oh no! What happened? All these sweaty palms just broke her mirror. Hey, no problem. Do you know what a broken mirror means? Yep. It means that we can't walk in our bare feet for a couple of days. It means bad luck. Seven years of it. Baloney! That means I'm not gonna break into Hollywood for seven years! You're going to do it today at your screen test. Oh, Danny, I'm so scared. That's all right. All actors get scared. Stage fright, you know? No, that's not what I have. I have more than butterflies in here. I've got vultures. I I'm shaking so much, I can't even put on my mascara. I'll help you. Oh, no. I'd have the worst black rings around my eyes that anybody ever saw. You'd be mopping me up for weeks. I'm just trying to help. Did you pick up all the glass? I think so. Well, see, you helped. Will there be anything else? No, would you just let me finish getting dressed? Okay. Thanks. Call me if there's an emergency. I will. Oh, yes. I'm sorry I'm so grumpy. I understand. It's just, I've never been under so much pressure. Well, maybe you're not used to pressure. Oh, you should see me around with exam time. Mom and Dad don't even want to sit near me at breakfast. 
My brother used to call me the Tasmanian Devil. Uh, you're not like that. No, you'd think that if you were my brother. Every day I thank my lucky stars I'm not your brother. You think we'd have an incest problem? I do believe so. Oh, no! Oh, no. What happened? Oh, my outfit! What happened? My nail polish! Oh, what a mess. This is ruined. My whole outfit is ruined. It can't even be cleaned. Look at my nails. Look, icky yucky. <laughs> hey, you really on a roll, okay? It was that mirror I'm telling you. This screen test just wasn't meant to be. What am I gonna do? You've got other clothes. Nothing good. Everything's good. Okay? All right, uh... First, we'll get you some nail polish, and I'll loan you Ted's car, and then I'll loan you whatever money you need to buy your fingernail stuff, okay? I have to get myself together, okay? Okay. Okay. Yes, okay. Another yes. dress. I'll borrow Ted's car. Mm -hmm. Danny. Hmm. I couldn't survive this without you. I really couldn't. Just do me a big favor. Don't think of me as your brother again. Now suck in those toes. Suck in my toes. Mm -hmm. Look, if you're gonna get kinky, do it on your own time. <laughs> my boat's gonna sink while you're playing with my shoes. Would you stop? Am I interrupting? Oh, Mason. No, I'm just trying to get these massive feet into these tiny shoes. Uh, feet swell up? Yeah, they must have. Well, I've uh, got something that will make your head swell as well. As if it isn't already. This young woman is nothing but trouble. <laughs> You're interrupting me, sir. Yes, listen. Try to have a sense of decorum. This is a solemn public declaration. The city of Santa Barbara hereby declares August 22nd Cruz Castillo Day. In honor of the heroism he demonstrated in Santa Barbara Harbor, blah, blah, blah. Well, you know the rest. Also, the mayor has decided to give you a key to the city. There'll be a ceremony, flag-waving, photographers, etc. All I did was light a fuse and know how to get out of the way before the explosion went off. Hey, Cruz, that is very impressive. Now that you have a day named after you, I'm sure you won't want to talk to me anymore. I'll probably be too busy, but I'm sure you'll understand. <laughs> well, um, I'll just leave this here. Got to get back to the office. Uh, Mason... Thanks for bringing it over. It means a lot to me. Always glad to be the bearer of good tidings. See ya. Just where were you all night? Business meetings till the wee hours. Mm -hmm. That was a pretty sultry message. Did you dream about me? Yeah. Fell dead asleep. <laughs> That's okay. I did enough dreaming for the both of us. It's too bad you're so formal. We could have gone riding. We had a big meeting today. My first with people reporting to me. Uh huh. To so see that they are properly respectful. <laughs> so when can I see you? I'll call you later. In fact, anything you want to do tonight is fine with me. And I've got a few ideas of my own if you run out of them. Okay. By the way, sweetheart, I wanted to ask you something. What? Why do you uh, suppose Augusta Lockridge hired Joe Perkins? I don't know. She had work to be done. 
Yeah, but there's uh, a lot of good people out there out of work. Why him? Mm hmm. Soft heart, I guess. No, I don't think so. You think she was just trying to torment the Capwells? Wouldn't put it past her, Peter. You know, her husband's gone a lot of the time. <gasps> what are you implying? Well, Augusta's not shy with men. At least she, uh, she hasn't been with me. Peter, I don't want to think about that. That is exactly the kind of thoughts that I'm trying to keep out of my mind. How can you spread gossip like that? Even if it were true, would I care? Morning. Morning. Slow down, you're working too hard. You know, you're the first boss that's ever told me that. Usually it's just the opposite. Maybe I ought to get Minx's riding crop and snap it at you to do more. Uh, you could try that. <laughs> You know, I noticed you got quite a crop of poison oak growing over there. I'll try to get to it in the next couple of days. Would you? Yeah. Terrific. You know, just past that fence is the Capwell property. Figured. Does that thought bother you? Why would it bother me? Kelly Catwell's not very far away. <laughs> Listen, if it bothered me, as you say, I guarantee you I wouldn't be talking about it. Man of few words. Yep. Still so secretive. Did you find what you were looking for the other night? More or less. Are you on to who the killer is? Don't know yet. You know, you'd be very good at Chinese water torture. One drop at a time. You know, you'd be very good at an inquisition. Ouch. Sorry. I know that you won't admit to it, but I do know when you're upset. Is there anything I can do to help? Look, Augusta, you read me wrong here. I'm fine. I'm not upset. But you see, since I've got to know you better, I've learned not only to like you, but to believe in you. And I really do. Actually, I'm... I'm sure you're innocent. Now, that's been a long time in coming. I know. But now I can say it. And mean it with all my heart. wedding last night and I uh, took the liberty to drop some sketches for you for the terrace decorated do you have time to look at them I have a few seconds I'm expecting a call oh perfect when your call comes I'll just disappear all right great okay let me show you I thought that we could do lots of orchids you know all different types of them all over the place wouldn't that be lovely mm, yes I I like these they're yeah, very good. Thank you. You know, they haven't even uh, picked a date yet. <laughs> they will soon, I'm sure. We'll be ready. Good. You know, it's very nice of you to do this, Santana. Thank you. It's my privilege. Cece, did you give my uh, boy his birthday present? You know I don't want to talk about that, Santana. Well, you must have... Uh... You surely didn't throw the gift away. Let's not discuss it, please. Look, I'm... Wait, wait, wait. I'm sorry. I'm hounding you again. I won't do it anymore. You know, it's just this talk about Kelly's engagement and everything and kind of got me thinking about when I was going to get married and have a family. Young women seem to be waiting longer to get married these days. Of course, that's an unofficial observation. I have nothing to back it up. Good morning, Mr. C. Morning. 
And to you, Santana, a second time. How are you feeling? Up and at him, thanks. Are you ready to go, Beauty? You know, I highly disapprove of your going anywhere unless you get an okay from the doctor first. You know me, Mr. C. I've never been too good at waiting around for permission. I wouldn't know how to handle it if I was doing something somebody approved of. <laughs> Shall we go? See you. Shaving. I thought you... What happened? I can't tell you. Tell me. You're gonna kill me. Ted! Ted's gonna kill me! My parents! It can't be that bad. Danny, I've never done anything like this in my whole life. I wrecked Ted's car. You what? I hit a metal post or something. Oh, my God. I, I backed into it, but nobody was hurt or anything. Okay. Yeah. All right. But the car doesn't move. Oh, no. I tried to start it, but and it starts, but it just... Oh, I need help. Big help. Where is the car? It's still in the parking lot. I never got it out. Are the police there? Well, not yet, but they should be there by now. Nobody's hurt. No, I was the only one involved. I told you. I'm not hurt, but I'm devastated. Let me tell you what happened, okay? My hands were sweaty, my palms. And I was going to turn the wheel, and then this fly or bee flew on my shoulder and bit me. So I turned around to swat it, and then I never even had... Hey, he has insurance. Thank goodness. He's going to hate me. No, no. I'm responsible. Well, you were shaving when it happened. No. He lent me the car. I lent the car to you. I would... Oh, let me tell you, it doesn't matter, right? Oh, what are we going to do? I can't even think today. I'm just glad you don't have screen tests every day. Do you hate me? No. Are you kidding? I hate myself. You were just nervous. I promise never to drive when I have a screen test again. Listen, these things happen. We'll go out, we'll see if we can get it off the post, and then we'll deal with it from there, okay? Danny... I really admire your rock-like nature. Gibraltar. I am a supreme geek. I just won the geek gold medal. Shh. Come on, let's go. First. Does it annoy you if I stand around watching? No. I can't imagine why you do it, though. I like company. Sure. Lakin's almost grown up, and Warren's... Out on his own. My husband's never around. Sorry. You don't want to hear this. You know, Augusta, your life isn't too bad. You know, my mother works at a job eight hours a day that she hates. You're right. I should be grateful. I admire you, Joe. You're very brave. hand looks very good on your arm. You know, Augusta, I have to admit that I, I didn't think you'd ever really believe in me. But I do. After knowing you for all these weeks, I know you could never have killed anyone. And after observing you, I know even more than that about you. Yeah? What else do you know? That there are things missing from your things you have a right to have. You're distracting me from my work, Augusta. his car. Oh. I wonder where the arsenic is. Oh. 
Hey, buddy. How's it going? Great. I just made 50 fish pizzas in an hour. Let's see what other fascinating news I can come up with. How's your mood? Good. That's great. I was thinking about Lakin all day today. She really makes me feel terrific. Yeah, that's great. You know, you should keep this happy mood. She's neat, you know that? Huh. Neat is an understatement. You know, I wish you luck, old buddy, in finding a girl half as good as she. I don't know if I could just stick with one woman. There's so many women out there in the world. All those beautiful, gorgeous female creatures just... Mm. Now, yeah, not to say, you know, Jade's in a class by herself. And I don't doubt that, right? But, I don't know. I don't know if I could be faithful to just Jade and no one else. You know, I'd have to have my eyes glued shut, I think. Yeah, well, my dad made a mistake the first time around with Mason's mom, Pamela. But then he found my mom, Sophia. Uh -huh. He really found what he was looking for. You know, they'd still be married if, if she didn't pass away. Yeah, some people are like that, like my parents. Oh, I feel so good when I'm around them, you know? Now, granted, sometimes they drive me crazy, but they're, they're still friends, you know? They still flirt with each other sometimes at home. It's, it's really great to see that. You know, Ted, I was thinking... You know, if I marry Lakin, that's the way it's going to be between us. Marry? Did you say marry? Oh, boy, we're in trouble. Here we are in Lotus Land. The land of the Hollywood lovelies. And you dare to utter the word marry? Oh, boy. I know what we gotta do with you. What? What, I have to spell it out for you? Well, just tell me. We gotta get you a girl. Now. I'm, we'll scrounge around anything. You'll make out like a bandit at work, you know that? Pick up a girl in this? <laughs> I couldn't pick up a mud fence. Yeah, why not? You just uh, swashbuckle. <laughs> oh, yeah, very funny. You know, I don't know how it is with you, but... I mean, I've met about a thousand really cute girls wearing this thing, and they laugh their heads off. Well, I'm not laughing. I'm not laughing. I'm not laughing at you, Ted. You know, and it's really loud as when I'm making a delivery. I mean, there I am, in my car at a stoplight, and there's four voluptuous girls sitting right next to me. And they see me, and they laugh at me. If you're tired of women laughing at you, I've got good news for you. Yeah, what's that? Well, I've got good news and I've got bad news. Which will it be? Take the good news. I need some. Okay. The good news is you won't have women laughing at you when you're making deliveries in your pirate uniform driving your car. Why? Isn't that great? Yeah, yeah. Now, now what's the bad news? What? Well, you were just told me this wonderful good news, now what's the bad news? Oh, the bad news! The bad news. You don't have a car. I what? Well, at least not for a while. I don't have a car? Well, Jade borrowed it. And she was in the parking lot, right? And there was this pole, I don't know where, right in the middle of the parking lot. Don't ask me what I was doing there. And she just backed right into it. It wasn't, it wasn't vicious or anything. I was serious. I was impressed, Peter. You handled that meeting very well. Well, thanks, Mason. I appreciate that. I was surprised to see you. I thought you'd have uh, more important business to attend to. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there is uh, one little thing I should warn you about. Warn me? A man in your position should choose his friends very carefully. I'm not sure I understand what you mean. Well, I've heard that Augusta Lockridge was seen leaving your apartment on a couple of evenings this week. I don't like the sound of that, Peter. I don't think my father would either. You're going to be part of Capwell Enterprises. You must be loyal. It's got everything you need. Stove, refrigerator. Oh, wow. This looks like me. A little wobbly. I'll let that pass for today. <laughs> I don't know how seaworthy it is. Well, as long as it's not taking on water in the harbor. Mm, that I can promise. This is incredible, Santana. 
I'll write a check. Hey, wait a minute. Are you out of your mind? What if tomorrow you decide you want a lawn and trees? I'll worry about that tomorrow. Let's see. Uh, I'll take what they're asking. Knock off, what, 30%? You're paying cash? Why not? I've got it. That's a lot of money. Yeah, I know. It's a lot of hard work. Plus a little bit of good luck now and then. There you go. Okay, I'll take it to the real estate agent and see if they accept it. Of course they'll accept it. Nobody gets what they ask these days. The refrigerator's a little bit small. However, it's very well stocked. Hey. Champagne, 1975, hey. not bad. Hey. You think they'd mind? Yeah, of course they would mind. I'm sure they're saving it for a special occasion. Well, I think this is a special occasion. Look, they can buy two of them. You're incredible. I'll get some glasses. Actually, I should be ashamed of myself plying you with liquor. The parents would never approve. Hey, what do you think I'm going to do? Go home and tell Mama? So you're beautiful and discreet? I just know when to keep my mouth shut. That's a good instinct. Thank you. To you. And all your instincts. Especially the ones you're inclined to repress. <laughs> to your instincts. And may you repress a few more of them. How about to my new life as well? Absolutely, to your new life. Your new life? Yeah. What about your old one? It soured. Hey, the last five years? Come on, you can tell me. Sure. You tell me about your last five years and I'll give you mine. The high and the low of it, the nitty and the gritty, the whole thing. <laughs> deal? Uh, no deal. I didn't think so. Hey, look, I have nothing to hide. I just uh, think I would get bored listening to you. <laughs> I think the lady has some secrets. And so does the gentleman. To secrets, then? To secrets. What do you think about this couch? Not bad, but uh, definitely not terrific. <laughs> what, are you going to be a hard man to please? Not necessarily. Some women have pleased me very much. Oh, wow. Wait a minute. Now that. <laughs> that's it. That is... Yeah. <laughs> Listen, you. Why don't we go back to my office? No, no, no. Look at that. Seriously, Cadillac. that's really not... Come on, Cruz. I just are need a minute. Right? I need a minute. Hey, you okay? I shouldn't have let you come here. You didn't let me come. <sighs> this is your first day out of bed, you know. I know. I'm much more coordinated when I'm horizontal. <laughs> you never give up, do you? <laughs> it's true. Why don't we have you lay down for a little while? Come on. Yeah, that's a good idea. We can... <sighs> come on. Thanks. You know what you need? What you need is somebody to take care of you. No way. What do you mean, no way? What, are you exempt from the needs of the human race? That's right, I'm above it. Well, well, well. It's going to take a very large pin to burst your bubble of self-inflation. That's right. And that's what everybody needs, really. A bulletproof bubble of self-inflation. I'm not kidding. More. <laughs>
yourself scarce, ladies. Jail baits, yeah? Very good. Oh, thank you. I'm feeling pretty good. Well, come on in. Wait, you all right? Okay. Wait just a minute. Hold on. I'm seeing All right? Yeah. Thanks, Joe. It's stupid of me. Looks like you've got some nasty cuts there. You need a bandage. All I have is this. Really glad. 